What's more depressing than facing a long to-do list? You have no idea where to begin and end up not accomplishing much, feeling like you wasted a whole day. I've had so many days like this. The thing about the typical to-do list is that as you add more to-dos, it will turn into a task black hole. It starts as a cute list, but after a week, it has 100 things you have to do, which is nothing but stressful. And it becomes harder and harder to identify which ones you should prioritize, and then they never get done. Soon you stop seeing the list because it makes you feel like a failure. If you experience an issue like this, like me, this video is for you. I want to demonstrate the simplest method I have found helpful, especially on those days where you don't feel like you have much willpower. The goal of this method is to simplify your long to-do list so you can actually finish the most important task while having fun and not feeling burned out or overwhelmed. You can do this with pen and paper or some task apps, so feel free to choose whichever tool you like, regardless if it's a physical or a digital one. Let's jump straight into a basic example of how this looks in practice. Personally, I like to use this small paper, which is easy to carry and small enough to fit in your pocket. Now, what I would do is to create three sections. For the top row, you want to write one most important task you want to get done today. It's like today's highlight, one task that if you get it done, you think, okay, I had a productive day today. This is an idea from this book, Make Time, where the authors explain, begin each day by thinking about why you hope will be the bright spot. If at the end of the day, someone asks you, what was the highlight of your day? What do you want your answer to be? When you look back on your day, what activity or accomplishment or moment do you want to savor? That's your highlight. The reason why you want to pick a highlight is that choosing a highlight gives you a chance to be proactive about how you spend your time instead of letting technology, office defaults and uh, other people set your agenda. Also, in my experience, you feel great after finishing your highlight. As long as you complete it, you don't get that feeling you wasted a day. Now in the second row, write down two medium important tasks you want to do. They might not be as important as your highlight, but it could be something urgent or helps reach your long-term goals. Finally, in the third row, write down three small or miscellaneous tasks you want to do. These are the things that don't require that much willpower or energy or something that you enjoy doing. It could be like reading a chapter of your favorite book, replying to emails and messages and get dentist appointment. Now you have the list of things you want to do today. Notice that it's much shorter than a typical to-do list, which can be bottomless. This is why I love this method because it looks doable and still get to finish the important things. Keep this on your desk where you can see and start working on it. Also, if you want, you can use time blocking to make your schedule. So for example, if you have a journal, you can write each task into your schedule so you know what you're going to work on. Or you could use a calendar app like Google Calendar if you prefer. Usually it's a good idea to start from the most important task in the morning if you can, because in my experience, you have more energy in the morning, which makes it easier to work on tough tasks. But another tactic you can use, and uh, also my favorite way is to start by the small tasks that you enjoy. By doing so, you can build up a momentum, which lets you get in the flow. After that, starting difficult tasks feels much easier. Now, let me show you how I like to do it. Personally, I like to keep things digital as much as I can because I don't have to worry about losing my journal and uh, having to carry it everywhere I go. I use this app called Ampunoid as my to-do list and calendar. In my opinion, it's one of the best free task management apps in the market. It's got everything you need to build a productivity system where you can take notes, make to-do lists, and uh, build your schedule. Now, I just follow the steps inside Ampunoid. First, I write down the one to three of the day in the today's note. Since I do this every day, I already created a template. Making a new template is super easy. Create a new page and give it a title that starts with template. Then write what you want in the content. Now I can just insert the template into my daily note. There are multiple ways to do this, but I usually enter double square brackets equal and find the template I want to use. Then make my one to three list. Next, head to the calendar and filter for today's note. Now you just see the tasks for today. And finally, just drag these into your schedule. 
As you know, I like doing some light, easy, fun tasks first thing in the morning, which I find helpful to get in the flow and work mode, and then schedule the most important task next. I usually want to finish the highlight of the day in the morning if I can. I spend about three to four hours for the big task, then have lunch or do some workout sometimes. In the afternoon, I put the medium important tasks. I spend about one to three hours each. Lastly, towards the evening, I put the rest of the small tasks like replying to emails and messages and check the next day schedule. There are many different ways to do this, but I like the digital way because you can access your task sheet and the schedule across different devices like on your laptop, phone, and even on your smartwatch, but it's totally up to you. By the way, if you want to see more of the cool features of Ampunoid, check out this video. I talk about why I love using it and think you might like it too. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!